while Jay Dixon as general manager has the responsibility of overseeing all ranch operations. Most of the day-to-day -day activities for the horse operation are ceded to others. Breeding is the joint responsibility of our stallion manager, Del Bradshaw, and our chief veterinarian, Jason Walter. Unlike cattle, where breeding occurs in the pasture via live cover, the breeding of horses at Center Ranch is exclusively by artificial insemination. Semen is either collected from the ranch stallions or shipped to the CVRS from outside stallions. On rare occasions, the ranch's mares are transported to other facilities for breeding when the sire semen is either too valuable or too scarce to be shipped. Once a pregnancy is determined, the developing embryo is transferred from the donor to a recipient mare. Once the pregnancy of the recipient is established, she will be turned out to pasture until foaling season the following year. Because nursing or wet nares can be bred for the next year's foal crop, the majority of the pregnant recipients will also have a young foal at side. Foaling is also the joint responsibility of Dell and Jason, who monitor the health of the young foals. As foals are weaned, they are moved into stalls and halter broken by Dell Bradshaw and his staff. The halter broken foals are then turned out into small pastures. Once the weaned foals become yearlings, that is January 1st of the year succeeding their birth, they are transferred to the west side of FM 811, where they are sex segregated into colt and filly pastures. The yearlings are allowed to grow and develop for a full year during which their health and conditioning is closely monitored on a daily basis by Del Bradshaw and his staff, and on a monthly basis by Jason Walter, the ranch veterinarian. As the yearlings become two years old, they are first saddle broken and tied for long periods each day. Then they are broken to ride and training begins.